Atelier are a consultancy firm uh, and we work predominantly on the client side of things, offering project management and quantity surveying services. Um, we work on a variety of projects. We do a lot of work with uh, the NHS, we do a lot of work with National Trust, um, private, public, it's uh, yeah, a great variety. The project here at the Kier Oval was the Galadari stand and then the extension to the Mickey Stewart Pavilion. Um, all in all, it was around about 2,500 additional seats to the ground, taking the total to 28,000. Uh, and then also some extension spaces and, and two large format hospitality and conference and events areas. Uh, it also included two large commercial kitchens uh, and four further bars. Food and hospitality at Kiraval is an incredibly important part of our business. It's a major revenue generator for the club uh, and for the business as a whole. Uh, you know, and it's something that we operate throughout the year in many different areas, uh, in many different facets and all over the ground. Most people obviously perceive us as being a cricket venue and, and we are a very busy and very well known cricket venue. But we're also an enormously large conference and event space. I worked with HCE in the capacity of delivering the commercial kitchen spaces. Um, so two large format areas and, and bringing in all the equipment that uh, is necessary to run a, a, so a full scale restaurant style kitchen. Um, and working with these guys through the procurement process, uh, install and then also the commissioning and, and, and manuals and, and delivery stage as well. So the key things in the kitchen were really having a, having a system that worked efficiently, um, was quite simple and straightforward because it is a flexible space. Uh, there'll be celebrity chefs using it, there'll be the standard staff here at the, the ground as well. So it needed to be really user friendly, really um, straightforward and follow some pretty simple uh, principles and, and design philosophies as well. Banqueting kitchens really, for me, is as much about flow as it is about anything else. Some of the numbers we're doing in these areas, four, 500 people. We're currently today operating a restaurant that seats 350 people. There's an a la carte restaurant. That, that involves 50 staff, that involves 10 chefs, that's kitchen porters on top of that. It is not just the question of the, the, the kit working, it is the kit working in a way that can maximise its capacity. And that, a lot of that comes with A, the planning of organisation and design, but B, the flow of the human beings that work within that environment. When we started working with HCE, essentially we, we stepped into a design stage, we looked at the areas we had, we looked at the equipment that we wanted to bring in and, and started to sort of brainstorm how things would be laid out and, and best used, I suppose, to optimise the space. Uh, that was really helpful, uh, given, the, given the importance of the areas. And then as we moved through the delivery of the project, uh, the procurement process and, and understanding when this equipment was available, especially during uh, things like COVID and Brexit, having that certainty with uh, HCE sort of informing us on, on the delivery process was, was really helpful. And then at the stage of, I suppose, commissioning and bringing everything to site, uh, just fully understanding that they'd integrate into uh, the principal contractor on site and the processes that were there and then the uh, I suppose what's required to deliver and have everything installed in, in what was a, a rather tight and uh, fast-paced program towards the end. HCE are one of a number of different contractors that were on site with the build and development work so it's not just them dealing with their problems it's actually them dealing with the challenges of all the contractors that went before them and adjusting their timelines accordingly for it so it was it was a very lengthy design project but most importantly then, it was a huge construction project of them fitting in with all the other pieces of the jigsaw. HCE need to be commended on how smoothly uh, they delivered the project. Um, from the day they started on site to the day that everything was commissioned, they communicated clearly and had a, a strategy and a plan in place to deliver the works that were required. Obviously, being a construction site, things move dynamically. Um, solutions need to be made, alternatives need to be developed and, and HCE were you know, at the forefront of that uh, in those, those kitchen areas, so uh, can only but recommend them. From a preventative point of view, it, it's really important that people are ahead of the problems and that is the case for the entire of our business, that we, we can't just wait for things to go wrong. HCE have been great at actually a, putting together a proper comprehensive asset list that we had on site giving us a three-year plan, which is what they did right from, the, right from the offset to say, it is our belief that you need to have, look at these areas for, for CapEx investments in the future, and then working through that lengthy long-term process and not a quick fix problem. I, I definitely work with HC on another project and, and you know I have to now because there are a service agreement and they'll be here for a while. It's a great business model for us. It, it worked really well. We're quite like-minded in the way we do business. 
Um, you know, we, we have a, the same perception of standards as one another, which is really important for us. Uh, and the relationship work that they put in and the commitment they've put into this project, well, I have absolutely no problem working with them again. I think they've been fantastic throughout the whole process.